All right, so what we're working on today is looking at how do we get equations into y equals mx plus b. So in this, we're looking to get y equals mx plus b. We're going to try and get y by itself in each of these so that we can graph it. Because if you can graph it, then you can use the other video tutorial on uh, review of graphing to, to, to use that to, to graph them with. But the key is to get it into y equals mx plus b so we can use that b as our y-intercept, that m as our slope, and graph it. So the first one, 2x plus 3y equals 6, um, to get y by itself, the first thing to do is we have to get rid of the x. We want to move everything that is not y to the right-hand side. And since that, that 2x is a positive 2x, which is the opposite. So the opposite of being positive is minus. So 2x subtracted from there, subtracted from there. So it's a positive 3y, so it stays positive. And we have, uh, what I always do is I always put the, the 2x in front. And I keep signs. So negative 2x. Stays as negative 2x, and the 6 was positive, so it becomes a positive 6. Now, y isn't totally by itself yet, because you still have that 3 in front. So what we're going to do is we're going to divide by 3 on both sides. So instead of it being multiplied by 3, we're going to divide by 3. So y equals, um, now you've got kind of a situation here where you have a fraction. So you have negative 2 thirds x, and then you still have to divide this one, it stays positive, so plus 2, because 6 divided by 3 is 2. So that gives us our equation, y equals 2 thirds x plus 2. That's in y equals mx plus b form. So we have m right here, b right there, so you can graph it. In our second one, uh, 3x minus y equals 9. So to get that y by itself, we're going to get rid of the x again. So we're going to subtract 3x from both sides. So we have negative y equals, notice I brought the negative down with it, minus 3x plus 9. Now remember, you can't do 9 minus 3x to get a 6. Because of the fact that 9 doesn't have an x, the 3 does have an x, those aren't considered like terms. So you can't add or subtract them. Uh, so now that we've got negative y, that negative really isn't by itself, that negative y isn't by itself yet, we still have to get rid of that negative. So there's two options here. One, we can multiply by negative 1. Or two, we can divide by negative 1. And the goal of this is that so that these negatives cancel out to make a positive. If we do it over here, we have to do it on this side. So those, the negative y and the negative 1 will cancel out, leave us with a y. And now we have to do the, two, the, the, the negative 3 divided by negative 1, which is positive 3, which stays the next. And that plus 9 will turn into a minus 9. Good. All right, and our last one is 5y minus 10x equals 15. So I want you to take a second here. I want you to try it on your own. And we're going to get back together in about 10 to 15 seconds uh, and uh, go through it. Okay, so 5y minus 10x equals 15. So we want to get y by itself. So to do that, we, here's our, our y is on our left-hand side. So we're going to add 10x to both sides so that we have 5y equals 10x plus 15. So that gets rid of our negative 10x and our positive 10x. So then just to get the y by itself, divide by 5 on both sides and you get y equals 2x plus 3. All right, hope this has helped a little bit. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask in class.